Uh, this story is particularly close to my heart. Um, Caribbean court strikes down gay ban in Antigua and Barbuda. In 1995, the twin Caribbean nations of Antigua and Barbuda passed the Sexual Offenses Act that criminalized acts of buggery and serious indecency, which were punishable up to 15 years in prison. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court stated, quote, the selection of an intimate partner is a private and personal choice, end quote, and that Antigua and Barbuda's 1995 Sexual Offenses Act, quote, offends the right, of liber right to liberty, protection of the law, freedom of expression, protection of personal privacy, and protection from discrimination on the basis of sex, end quote. Mm. So what is your connection to this? So my parents are both immigrants uh, from the West Indies. Um, I'm a first year um, citizen of the United States from my family. My mother is from Jamaica. My, my father is from Dominica. Both mm. countries, unfortunately, like Antigua and Barbuda, are, could be very homophobic. So hearing this uh, really makes me happy um, that we are taking these, these two countries are taking the steps, these two nations are taking the steps to um, decriminalize um, the, you know, be just being gay. Um, it is something as a child of West Indian parents um, from these places where you're very proud. You grow up just very proud of, of, of the culture, very proud of your family. Um, and fortunately, I have a wonderful supportive family, but not all of my generation of the people mm -hmm. that um, I even, maybe I even grew up with that are outside my family, um, maybe other you know, colleagues uh, from school that have, that come from these countries mm -hmm. couldn't say the same. I know of a few people that have been very closeted because they are scared to come out because of their culture, because of their background. So it is dangerous. Um, people take their lives. Mm -hmm. People are getting hurt. Mm -hmm. They're getting killed. They're getting, and not just I'm going to shoot you, kill you. I mean, torture uh, because they are LGBTQ+. Mm. Plus. And it's sad because for such rich culture, such wonderful mm. things that come out of the West Indies um, to have this, um, you know, have, have this, these things happen to people, is just, it's just horrible. Yeah. And it's really great to finally have a good news story to report. It really yes, feels yes. good <laughs> that yes. there is finally a good news story. Yes. yes. I have a question for you. Is, because this, this island this island is east southeast of um, Haiti and uh, the DR. Yes. And it's literally out there in the middle of nowhere. I mean, yeah. usually we only hear about this if we're going on a cruise or if there's a named <laughs> storm right. heading our way. <laughs> right. America, for all its faults, we are huge. Yep. And we have a very diverse community. It's very um, homogenous on the island. So this changes law. How far does that go in changing the hearts and mind of something that's so ingrained in the culture? I think it's it's a long road ahead. I mean, I think it's mm -hmm. uh, it's a good step just to start with the law itself, right? So that people sort of get used to it. It's the law now. You if you if you discriminate, if you hurt, if you try to harm, then you could potentially be jailed, or mm -hmm. there could be some this punishment. Um, and hopefully they will enforce it to the full extent of the law. So it would I would I would think it would just take time. It would take time to get people used to it, get people on board. Um, mm -hmm. But I will say though, over the years and over the twenty plus years I've been out and out, you know, you know, son of West Indian parents, mm -hmm. I've seen the change in hearts, change in minds, um, in my own family, mm -hmm. um, in the countries themselves. Now there are. Uh, places in the United, in the uh, West Indies that are the countries are having pride events or holding pride mm -hmm. events, not as out in the open as as you'd want, but you can totally tell that it's changing gradually. So this is definitely a great step in the right direction and change on the way to changing heart on the way to changing hearts and minds. Right, and it requires actually speaking out because uh, a Ministry of Health worker challenged the law because he'd been um, bullied and assaulted for being gay. So sometimes yes. it just requires someone to stand up mm -hmm. and say, I've had enough, I, this, things need to change. And things can change even with one voice. And a lot of it, another thing that's close to my heart is too, is tourism. A lot of the tourism boards and tourism ministers in these countries have said, hey, we are missing out mm -hmm. on inviting mm -hmm. a great chunk of the population of the, of the world. Uh, because of our treatment of LGBTQ people. They're people just like us, 
and you know what? They've got wallets and they got money to spend. <laughs> right. That's so exactly. why don't we hit them where it hurts, right? <laughs> exactly. So fortunately, we have uh, you know that aspect of it in order to you know bring more light to what's going on down there. Everybody wins. Yeah. The right. Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court more progressive than our current Supreme Court, which mm -hmm. also wants to hear a case like this. Yeah. But has our, one of the justice, Justice Thomas, has already said. I'm going to vote in an absolutely 180 degree different way. Oh my God.